hot outside, forcing many homes and businesses to turn on their air conditioning. But there's confusion and concern over whether that can spread the coronavirus indoors. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with the experts to see if you're at greater risk when trying to stay cool. This video shows how far a cloud of droplets carrying the virus can travel without a mask, as far as eight feet. But what happens when there's an AC unit nearby? And we've been inside of air handlers, and so we have found the genetic material of the virus, um, the RNA of the virus in air handlers. Uh, which gives some pause. University of Oregon professor Dr. Kevin Vanden Weimelenberg and his team swabbed AC units. They found traces of the virus on one out of every four samples, even ones with good air filters. When it's hot out, AC units use more recycled air to save energy. That's the concern. But he says just because there are traces of the virus in there, it doesn't prove that people could get sick from them. But nobody knows what that minimum threshold is. And so what we need to do is take precautions as possible. Research like his is one reason 239 scientists from 32 countries asked the World Health Organization to update its guidance on how the virus can spread. Scientists like UC Berkeley professor emeritus William Nazaroff. And I think they are underweighting the relative importance of uh, this airborne route based on the best available information. He and others are concerned that the virus might be floating in the air for longer periods than we think, what's called airborne transmission, and not just moving on big droplets that can quickly fall to the ground. Okay, so what can people do to protect themselves? The most important removal for those smaller droplets is going to be ventilation. If it's poorly ventilated, those droplets may hang around for 30 minutes, an hour. Scientists say one of the best things you can do is open windows to circulate more fresh air. A good air purifier might also help. If you're at the office, they suggest wearing a mask and asking your boss about upgrading those AC air filters. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. After that letter from the scientists, the WHO did update its guidance this week, saying airborne transmission can't be ruled out, but the group suggested it's not responsible for the majority of infections.